Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather next day, 14 days. For today's final video, day 10 will take us to the 8th of September. And uh, we'll be able to send out beyond that with the SSG Affairs. Except on Summers, maybe I'm trying to cut wings. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us well into the second half of September. And I should get time for that for you in a moment. Just say that first video release it was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. I've also released the European Outlook as well. I'll check out those two bits. If you like to that, like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We've got around 30 subscribers, 3-0. That's all. We've got to get ourselves at 18.7k. So if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, right, now, storm names have been revealed by the UK Met. Very exciting day. I think they normally did this on the 1st of September, but <laughs> I suppose because that's going to be Sunday, they're doing it a couple of days earlier. Anyway, check this out, everyone. Uh, tweet or X from the Met Office. Latest storm names announced. Here are the hashtag storm names for the 2024-25 season. Not 2024-25 season. Uh, announced with Met Aaron and KNMI. Do you know whose name is on the list? Here we go then. Do -do -do. So, this is the roll call, the, the roll call of terror. <laughs> okay, so we've got Ashley, Bert, Connell. Um, is that Darug? <laughs> and then I think, is that Elwin? Ewan? I don't know. Floris? <laughs> Gerben? Hugo? I wonder if that could be after Matt Hugo, maybe. Um, <laughs> Izzy, James, uh, Kaylee, Lewis, Ma <laughs> Mavis. Can you imagine it's still Mavis. <laughs> Met Office, still Mavis. How? Why? Um, what's that one? No, noise, nosy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Ochi, Poppy, Raffi. Uh, is that Sori, Say Sayori, Tilly, Vivian, and Ren? So there we go, everybody. <laughs> I love Storm Mavis, so. <laughs> I did really do. <laughs> anyway, that's the roll call for the 2024-25 season. It gives us a good laugh. Anyway, nothing else, isn't it? So, um, there we go, everybody. Let me know in the comments what you think to that list. And uh, which are your favourite names? And, uh, <laughs> I like Maeve, personally. <laughs> anyway, anybody remembers Coronation Street? Back in the day, my mum used to watch that. They had a Mavis on there. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. So, um, there we go. That's the 2024-25 Storm Season Names list from the Met. Okay, let's have a look at Central England temperature. CT is uh, currently sitting at 17.2. Actually ticked up a little bit yesterday. That's uh, a provisional up to the 28th of August. So, uh, we might well hold in the 17th. It could tick down back down to 17 Point one or seventeen point zero, but I think that probably hold him at seventeens now till months. Then there is only a couple of days of months left after all. These are a five hundred millibar high dominant flow, flow charts from Penn State University. So we've got the ECM at WF on the top, and we've got GFS down here. On the bottom, 500 millibars, 85 feet. There's an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure have been moved out by the jet stream running above. Red and orange extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. These are for the 7 10 day time frame. And we have seen quite a significant change actually within the model output, some of the model output, not all of it, some of the model output. Over the uh, past few hours, really, over the past uh, sort of 24 hours, anyway. So the ECM has this area of above average heights sitting to the north and the east, with a trough just to the south and southwest of the country, which is actually 
indicating, okay, quite a warm, but also quite unsettled pattern now in the 7 to 10 day time frame. Uh, that will bring rain into the south. The GFS is very similar as well. High pressure going in further north, actually, with the uh, GFS, 500 millibar height anomaly, a trough of low pressure down to south of the country. That would bring the wettest weather into the south. Driest weather would be further north with that, but they're both. <coughs> so sorry, everyone. Both the GFS and the ECM are looking uh, a little bit on the mixed side now for uh, next week. Oh dear, these are the 500 millibar height um, No one I'm talking about. These are the GFS of rare tech. I've still got my mind on the store name list, actually. Um, no, so uh, the, get, get professional, yeah. These are the GFS of rare temperature application ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year of air temperature average for Bournemouth. And we're starting off a round average at the moment, but the upper air temperature will be lifting up through the weekend and into uh, next week. So, yes, we are going to get a warm up. Probably not going to last all that long, but around Sunday, Monday, it does look pretty warm. Then the upper air temperature coming back close to average again as we go the middle part of next week. There may be another warm up here, um, which is towards the end of first week of September, but not necessarily. Um, convincingly so there is quite a lot of scatter within that particular period of the ensemble graph and uh, extending out you know in towards the middle part of the month and it does look more unsettled as well now with the um with 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 the graph so a lot of dry weather for the next couple of days but uh, as we go into next week have got more weight and precipitation spikes there so you know we've had, perhaps got to wash out not only for uh, a warm up next week we had a bit of a cool down but also for uh, the chance of some quite heavy rain, maybe even a bit of thunder. Temperature anomaly on the 29th of August, 6th September, close to average, not a particularly big deviation, still maybe slightly above average for England and Wales. Precipitation anomaly, 29th of August, 6th September, drier than normal, but I would suspect these um, anomaly maps might start trending a bit wetter in the uh, next few days. That'll be something to keep an eye on through the uh, videos, you know, tomorrow and into the weekend. The latest weather map from Earth and Nullschool.net shows that we've got an area of low pressure to the north of Scotland, Central Scotland and uh, Iceland, high pressure down towards the southwest, reaching in uh, in that sort of direction. Now, it is a bit cooler and fresher with both west winds today. Now, high pressure will be becoming increasingly dominant. So, starting with the UK Met Euro run with chart data, um, Miss South East looking big night on certainly high and dry. High pressure takes over to the east and northeast of the country, turns wind into a warm easterly direction. Through the early part of the week, though, that high pressure very quickly uh, slips away towards the north of Scandinavia and the northwest of Russia, allowing. <coughs> <coughs> so, sorry again, everybody. Lowering a trough of low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. For the ridge then re establishes around the middle part of the week. So, perhaps a little bit of a showery interruption from time around Monday or Tuesday. And then we go back into uh, strong high pressure with the UK Bet Euro Rudd uh, later next week. That keeps the warm, dry weather going. Icon looking like this high pressure to the northeast on certainly mostly dry. And quite warm. Bit of a weakening of pressure uh, next week could allow some showery bursts through. And then, similar to the UK Met, Icon has the high pressure re establishing through the middle part of week, bringing a lot of dry and uh, quite warm weather in with it as well. I'm just going to pause the video because I've not got the KMA up. Hold on. Okay, KMA is now with us. Right, so, uh, starting off on certainly high pressure dominates to the northeast country, bringing a lot of dry. And uh, warm weather with it. Weakening of pressure early next week could allow some showery bursts through. And then into the middle and last stage of next week, high pressure establishes, bringing a lot of dry and potentially very warm weather with it. Winds turn to the southeast, which could become quite hot. However, we have got low pressure that's just the southwest. So that looks volatile. That could bring some, uh, you know, long awaited uh, thunder across many parts of the country. Um, no, much warmer, but also potentially quite volatile there 
with the KMA later next week. Notice as well, interestingly, there could be a couple of uh, tropical storms and or hurricanes moving into North Atlantic. One there and maybe one just there. So things might be about to start livening up in the tropics as well, if that's right. And, uh, you know, ultimately into North Atlantic too. Um, right, we have a GFS midnight rain is looking once more. High pressures to the north of the northeast. We bring in this warm easterly flow on Sunday. Then we get a weakening, weakening of pressure early next week. Makes more of that actually develops an area of low pressure with a GFS midnight run turning cooler and more unsettled through the early part of next week. Later on next week, high pressure then starts to re establish again. Putting in a bit of a northeasterly bow down the south, which would be quite a cool wind direction. And then an, low, an area of low pressure is about to the south of the country and pushes northwards as we get through to day 10, which is the 8th of September. That brings mostly dry and warm weather to the north, but quite wet weather down into the south. In the extended range, the uh, midnight run, then having a uh, re establishing a uh, westerly flow as far as we get to is the 14th of September, by which time notice again the rains of a tropical storm and or a hurricane is heading into the North Atlantic there. And the GFS 6Z once more showing that high pressure to the east of the northeast country on Sunday. Then a bit of a weakening of pressure early next week could bring some showery bursts in with it, turning cooler and showery with low pressure slipping into the North Sea around the middle part of uh, next week. And then we head on up towards day 10, try to get high pressure going, but not really successfully. And another trough slipping through the country, bringing more rather cool and uns <laughs> unsettled weather into the second week of September. So a big change here within the, some of the model outputs. The GFS model's really, really wobbling now on the idea of, of like hot and dry weather, or warm and dry weather through the first week, 10 days of September. Right, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment and so what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gauss Weather. It's <coughs> sorry, sorry again, everyone. I didn't get meant to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. 30 subscribers will get us to 18.7k. So please give us a sub. So much, everyone. Right, GM. Once again, with high pressure to the east of the northeast on Sunday, bringing this warm easterly flow. Um, bit of a thundery all over there, maybe, just to the south through the early part of next week for high pressure that then builds back in strong. So the GM is with Icon of the UK men, bringing high pressure back very strongly um, after a brief sort of showery interruption through the early part of next week, that high pressure builds back strong. So the GM is still with the warm and dry option and idea. And then I think we know what the ECM is going to do based on the 500 millibar flow chart. So uh, this is how the ECM is looking. Certainly high pressure again to the east and northeast. Bring mostly dry and warm weather. Low pressure then coming in off the Atlantic. ECM makes even more about low pressure for the early part of next week. So that is an unsettled start next week, a wet start to next week. And uh, that low then just anchored and rooted across the island to the south and southwest of the country. We are bringing up quite a warm southerly southeasterly with that. But it looks quite unsettled with below pressure bringing showers, if not longer spells of rain. So we've got the GFS of the uh, ECM runs that look unsettled as early as the beginning of next week. Um, Icon, UK Met and GEM um, much more towards high pressure. So it is a very, very confused picture. And the KMA as well, very confused picture at the moment. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometcho.com. Lots of dry weather to come over the next few days. But uh, by the weekend, we might be starting to see a few showers getting into the south. I don't think they make, we make too much of those. Sunday actually has some big showers and thunderstorms for England and Wales there. And then by the beginning of next week, wet weather working its way in off the Atlantic. Showers and longer spells of rain coming in from the Atlantic. Looking quite wet, actually. Look at that with the... Uh, with the, U, uh, with the e, um, ECM. Uh, so lots of heavy rain there as we go further on through the first week of September. Goodness gracious me, what happened to the warm and dry weather? Now, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. There's lots of them. Gets us to the uh, 8th of September. 11 members of the ECM ensembles, including the control operation run with high pressure to the north and low pressure just to the south. 
and uh, that will bring the wettest weather into some of the southwestern part of the country. 11 with low pressure just for south, high pressure to the north. Again, that brings the wettest weather into the south. We've got 9 with low pressure further north, actually, and high pressure further north as well. That's quite unsettled for all places. Uh, another line down here, just about holding on to the high pressure, though, just to the north and northwest. Could be a bit cool with a northeasterly wind. Six with high pressure to the north, but reaching through West Europe. That should be mainly dry, quite warm. And five with high pressure to the west of the UK and Ireland and reaching into Western Europe. That should be mainly dry as well. So uh, lots of options there between the exact placement of high pressure and uh, lower pressure in two weeks' time. These are the options that we got. Gets us to the 13th of September. 13 members of the ECM solved with high pressure over to the north. Country mainly dry, quite warm. 12 with low pressure just to the west. High pressure away to the north. East. That will bring the wettest weather into the south and the west. We've got 10 with low pressure in Scandinavia. High pressure west of Greenland. So a westerly showery flow with that. We've got another night with low pressure just southwest. Looks quite mixed with that. And they've got seven with high pressure in the North Atlantic. Low pressures away to the east. The winds will be coming in from a rather cool north or northeast direction. Again, a lot of options, Gav, but a um, lot of them look quite showery at the very least there. So a big, big wobble going on. GFS and its ensembles, I mean, ECM and its ensembles. In terms of whether we're going to have a warm and dry, certainly first half to September, or first 10 days to September. Surface so we choose finally meters of 500 millibar high tons break down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 29th of August, 4th of September. Next week with high pressure in the North Atlantic and to the east of the country, mostly dry and uh, pretty warm with that. Week two. Uh, no wobble here. This is the 5th through to the 11th of September and high pressure very strong just to uh, the north of the UK and Ireland, mostly dry and uh, potentially warm or very warm with that winds coming in. From the east. Week three <laughs> keeps high pressure vest going. 12th to the 18th September. High and dry that week as well. And uh, week four is the 19th to 25th September. High, high pressure slipping south a little bit. Low pressure in the Atlantic. Just starting to try and re establish a bit of a westerly flow, but overall, still a lot of warm and dry weather. CFS rock solid today on a warm and dry September. But with shorter range and mod, uh, wobbling, all, with shorter range models wobbling all over the place, um, then I think we just need to stay cautious and uh, wait and see how it all works out. We'll keep you in for the course at Gas Weather Things. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gas Weather Get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much for doing that. Tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jeremy, Friday, and 10 to 14 there will be on the way tomorrow again as well. You enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.